Welcome to the online video series presented by Structure Studios. This video will explain how to create infinity and negative edges on pools and spas. It's important to have first watched the basic training series of videos to fully understand all of the techniques used in this video. In this example, we already have our pool, spa, and hardscapes. First, we'll add a negative edge going from our pool down to the lowered area. In the pool stage, we'll click on our shape and click Insert Spillover. A spillover will follow our cursor attached to the pool. Once we click, it's in place and we can adjust its settings. We can change the size of the spillover using the scale tool or in the panel menu, adjusting the length. We can also use the move tool and manually drag the points at the end of the spillover as well. We'll make it cover the entire lowered area and check it out in 3D. By default, our spillover is flat but we'd like this to be a negative edge. We can change this back in 2D. In 2D, we'll select our spillover and adjust the settings in the panel menu. We can choose between forward or reverse negative edge. We have other settings as well, but for this example, we'll turn on forward negative edge. In 3D, we see our flat spillover turned into our forward negative edge angling away from the pool. It's falling onto our hardscape, so we need to add a catch basin. We'll create our catch basin in the spa stage. We'll use the Outline tool and offset from our pool shape so that our catch basin will mirror exactly what we've already created for the pool. We'll connect back to the outer line of the pool with the Line tool, trace along the outer beam, and complete our shape. We'll set it to the same height as our lowered hardscape, negative 4 feet. In 3D, we see our forward negative edge spilling beautifully into our catch basin. Now we want to create an infinity edge around our spa. In the spa stage, we'll select our existing spa, click Insert Spillover, and add it to the shape. We'll drag the point all the way around. In 3D, we see our infinity edge. However, once again, the water's spilling onto our hardscape. We'll correct this by adding another catch basin. We'll once again create our catch basin in the spa stage. Using the outline tool, we'll offset one foot, trace around to the beam, trace the pool shape, follow back around, and complete our shape. We'll make sure that our catch basin is at 0 feet 0 inches to match the height of the existing hardscape. When we take a look in 3D, we're almost there. We see that our catch basin included an extra piece on the beam. It won't automatically cut away. To make this perfect, we'll want to modify our existing pool shape to follow the same line we created for our catch basin. We'll return to the pool stage, select our shape, and then grab the Divide tool. Divide allows us to add extra points to our shape, which means we can delete the segments in between. We'll add one point and delete the line segment. We'll add another Divide point and delete that segment as well. Our pool is red because it's now incomplete. We'll use the Line and Arc tool to complete it again. We'll connect it back to the spa shape we drew for our catch basin, outline it, and then recreate the last missing piece of our pool. In the spa stage, we'll delete the catch basin and take a look at our results in 3D. In 3D, we can see our results. They're perfect. We now see our spillover going into the pool with our infinity edge going all the way around thanks to our spillover. We need to make one final change in steps and benches. In Steps and Benches, we'll select our Auto Pool Step and drag the point to the new corner of the pool. Because we used Auto Pool Steps, it was quick and easy to make this change. Back in 3D, we see our completed Infinity Edge. If we take a look back, we can see our entire project with our Spa Infinity Edge and our Pool Negative Edge. Thanks for watching! Please let us know if you have any questions by contacting us at 800 778 8996 or email support at structurestudios.com.